my first heartbreak. She tried to tell me in so many ways that she wasn't interested in me. She moved to Dayton, Ohio. I moved to Dayton, Ohio. She moved to Cleveland. I moved to Cleveland. She moved to New York. And her uncle said, hey, stupid, wake up. So I woke up. I was embarrassed. I didn't want to see her uncle anymore. And so he owed me money, but I didn't even want to go get my pay. So I was homeless in Cleveland. I remember this one last thing I did was I went in this restaurant and I ate full meal. Then I told the lady, I said, can I wash dishes or do something? She said, what, you ain't got no money? I go, no ma'am, I have no money. And my voice broke a little bit. She said, why didn't you tell me that before you ate? I said, I couldn't take that chance of you telling me, no, I can't have no food. I was that on. She went and sat me down in the corner and when she got off of work, she came and got me and took me to the bus station. So she got me a ticket to Dayton, Ohio. And when the Greyhound bus was going, I could see the billboard on top of the bus station. Join the Navy and see the (laughs) The world. world. (laughs) And I said, huh, they got to feed you, don't they? Less than four months later, I was in Vietnam. My first heartbreak. She tried to tell me in so many ways. So... Shout out to everybody. Thank you for joining uh, 1950, The Last Traditional Man. This is, this is, this has to be the absolute, probably the absolute worst sim story I've ever heard of my entire life. <laughs> We're going to break this down. We're going to break this down. This is, this is layers to this thing. But this is absolutely the worst simp story of all time. This man pretty much risked his life, was homeless. Uh, He's following women. Uh, It's just too many layers. We're going to watch it and we're going to pause it and break this down. She wasn't interested in me. She moved to Dayton, Ohio. Hold on, let's be My first heartbreak. She tried to tell me in so many ways that she wasn't interested in me. She moved to Dayton, Ohio. I moved to Dayton, Ohio. She moved to Cleveland. I moved to Cleveland. You moved for one city. Bad enough. Bad enough that you moved for one city. Then she moved again. And then you move. Mind you, mind you, this was this guy, he she was never interested in this man. You the bitch. This is bad. This is real bad. He kept following her like a creep. My first heartbreak. This wasn't heartbreak. Use a straight sucker. Use a straight sucker. Let's keep it all the way 100. Use a sucker, man. Use a sucker, man. Check this out. Cleveland. She moved to New York, and her uncle said, hey, stupid. Wake up. So, I w- so her own uncle that knows his, like his niece, knows her. Knows her well. Try to warn my man. So he said, hey, wake up. Wake up, bro. She don't want you. She ain't never wanted you. And this man, for the life of him, couldn't understand why this woman didn't want him. This this reminds me of so many men nowadays. There are so many of this guy. We're going to call this guy... Mr. Simp. Mr. Simp himself. This is an old school simp. And and ain't just these young cats simping. Oh, this is definitely old head right here simping. And for some reason, he felt like this is the way to get to woman. Oh, I'm going to. This is what I'll do. I'm going to follow her all over the country. I'm going to go ahead and city to city follow her and try to make this my wife. Even though I know that she doesn't want me. This is this is absolutely wild. Let's check it out. Woke up. I was embarrassed. I didn't want to see her uncle anymore. And so he owed me money, but I didn't even want to go get my pay. So I was home. 
So not only are you are weak, he owed you money. You letting you letting this man borrow money from you. So she got a hold of you, and the uncle got a hold of you, and you were such a coward. Because you were so embarrassed that you were simping so hard, and she told, and he told, told. Which is ridiculous. Let's check it out. Homeless in Cleveland. I remember this one last thing I did was I went. So, so he went homeless. He was homeless. This guy went all the way homeless. He went all the way homeless. This this is this is wow. He went homeless. He had to go in a restaurant, steal food, and luckily this woman felt for him and changed his life. But he really didn't change his life. Look at this. In this restaurant, and I ate a full meal. And then I told the lady, I said, "Can I wash dishes or do something?" She said, "What? You ain't got no money?" I go, "No, ma'am, I have no money." And my voice broke a little bit. So why didn't you tell me that before you ate? I said, "I couldn't take that chance of you telling me no. I can't have no food." I was that on. She went and sat me down in the corner, and when she got off of work, she came and got me and took me to the bus station. So she got me a ticket to Dayton, Ohio. And when the Greyhound bus was going, I could see the billboard on top of the bus station. Join the Navy and see the <laughs> world. <laughs> and I said, huh, they got to feed you, don't they? And less than four months later, I was in Vietnam. My, So you, not only... Not only did you simp, but you risked your life. You went homeless. You followed her city to city. This is the most incredible simp story that I've personally ever heard. And I'm sure it's millions worse. But for me personally. For a man to risk his life, for a man to be a coward and not get the money back from the uncle, for you to follow her city to city, for you to be homeless, chasing a woman, all chasing a woman. This is absolutely wild to me, man. This is wild. I hope you guys learned something from this, and what I and I and I really hope that you learned. That you must put yourself first. We cannot allow a woman or anybody for that matter to put them above yourself. You cannot allow it. You have to choose yourself. You have to have a plan for any woman that comes in your life. You have to be able to walk away from the woman. I don't care how much you may like her. How beautiful she is. What a great person she is. You have an obligation. That obligation is for you to make sure that you hold your integrity, your manhood, your pride. I just wonder, where, where is his father? And I'm sure it was back in the day. He's talking about Vietnam War, so respect him for his service. But, but, but where was his father? Even his mother, you know, mother bears be loving their son so much. Get rid of her. She's terrible. He's a pure sucker, and he got a wedding ring on. I can't even imagine his. I, 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 I'm going to try to find this man's story. I'm going to find out this man's story. And and, and I got to do a review on I I just. And then he got the audacity for him to have a wedding ring on. <sighs> we we got to do better, man. This is a bad. This is bad for the brand. We we can't continue to let this slide on us, man. We can't continue to let this slide on us, man. Hopefully, you guys rock with me. Push the like button on the way out. I do the videos for you. You give me a like button. It's for me. Shout out to everybody. Much respect. Peace.
Hey, you know, hold on, hold on. Last thing. And every time I say peace, you guys don't comment. You guys need to comment on these videos. Comment on the videos. Leave a comment. Press the like button. Peace. Silver Bell.